None of these are amazing on him. I guess that's kind of useful. We'll probably replace the... Oh, interesting. I wonder if just jamming gems in in general makes them better. Okay, do we have any of these that were good on... Yeah. On intelligence. Wow, that is a bonus. Any of these just flat increase intelligence? No. Well, that's fine. We'll get more gems as we go along. See, do gems have a set bonus? I don't think they do. Anyway, uh, edit team. Elden and Street Man. Oh, right. Street Man probably also could use some practice points. Unfortunately, a little bit on the weak side of things. They'll get better. Alright, start adventure. Now this should... Oops. Run. Well, we crafted an ancient royal blade, so I guess that's kind of good timing. Uh, let's go back to this for a second. You should probably take that off. And extract gems. Uh, Prince's Fallen... No, no, no. Prince's Fallen Soul is probably worse than what I've got. One of these ancient knives is so much better than the other. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that one on, but which is better? No, that extra agility really does make a, a difference. Okay, let's try gems again. And this time, let's not leave them be behind. I should probably chuck them into a just totally regular... ...regular fight. Okay, so that actually didn't increase the damage that much. This is gonna increase the damage by a bit, bit though. Yeah, that was, that's pretty good. They do look at them. Oh, shit! I didn't even notice the set, uh, set bonuses over there. I... You know what? I just totally blanked on stuff over on the left. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mess around with that later. We, we gotta find a better gem farm anyway. Because, yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot. Okay, so let's adventure, edit team again. Add both of these guys to the party. I'm not sure if that matters. Okay, let's try this again. Good luck, you schlubs. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. Let's back out of that for a bit. Uh, let's see. Production, practice points, production. Nah. And that guy just bailed. Okay. So why don't we do something that isn't the wooden forest level that? Uh, where was I? I mean, honestly, why don't we just do wooden forest level 5? Let's do that. And we got a legendary nightblade. Ayy. They don't look terrible. It reduces enemy healing. I'll hold on to them. Right, and I gotta go change my battle tactics. Because I forgot we don't have him to do knifing stuff. I guess we could potentially get rid of the, uh, the, the street guy. Might as well turn off auto adventure for a moment. Okay. 
we... Because, yeah, What was that? Could have been fireworks. Okay, so we want to go to Adventurers for a second. Uh, that street man, he is balanced. He's also not the right level. That probably make that probably makes a decent difference here. Let's we'll get him that. Boost his taunt. Get battle recovery. Not that it makes too much of a difference. Okay. He still has two points. Oh, he does lightning damage. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I bet his fireworks going off today. Let's see. So we do have a golden shaman, but I don't think I need to care that much. Batch combined. Batch combined. Not that there's anything here. Okay, so we did produce some, like, high-tier equipment. Eh, no, we didn't. Okay, did I get any new recipes for armor? I did not. would probably like to make some more of these royal blades. Okay. Do we put this on farm for a little while? Honestly, I probably should. Oh. I... I forgot. We're just gonna escape for a moment. Uh, back to adventuring. We gotta add new rule. Killer. Has default targets. Should be good. I... Yeah, honestly, that's fine. Removing debuffs is probably more important. Okay. Well, now we wait again. You know, <laughs> do we want to do that? How many of you guys have picked up any, uh, what have you guys picked up recently? Uh... Uh, blah. Brain. Okay. Uh, what have you guys picked up during the Steam sale that's interesting? Anything interesting, or is it mostly just kind of whatever? Because I'm always trying to, like, fill, fill my library out with the couple of games that I haven't picked up, because, you know, it'd be worthwhile. I just, I'm starting to hit that point where there's not a whole lot of games left on my list. Uh, for me to pick up. Like, most of the stuff I look for at this point is, is new. And my one problem is I also look, like to look into, oh... Healer's Quest, Epic Battle, Fantasy 4. I think I did Healer's Quest, didn't I? I think I did. Yeah, that was that was actually... That wasn't an incremental game. Or no, 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 I never covered that one. I was playing a, a different game. Huh. It looks cute. I think I own it. Or maybe I got a key for, uh, a key for it a while back. Let's see, an epic battle fantasy four. Yeah, I I got a key for epic battle fantasy four, but I just never got around to playing it too. I'm bad about that. What was I gonna look up? Right, I was gonna look up Witchet, which I apparently own. Can I buy like a four pack? Nah, it doesn't look like it. That sucks. Cause yeah, one thing I want to do in the next couple weeks, probably after 4th of July, just due to, um, scheduling issues. But I really wanna... I really wanna gather my friends locally, you know, members from Stumps, Moose and Joe. Uh... Right. I should probably start grabbing these, seeing as we have... 
rather decent people rolling through. Get rid of the uh, slave trader in favor of state assistance. Anybody that's kind of garbage? I guess we could get rid of the like magician and some other stuff, but meh. Armory research. That's cool. Pricey though, but still. Let's see. Likely to pick up Executive Assault 2. Oh, capital ship fighting? Yeah. It looks neat. Oh, no, is this is this one of the ones where you go uh, between first-person shooter and capital ship fighting? And dog fighting. Neat. I don't think I'd play it just because I'm not big on competitive stuff, but... I always liked that, uh, that mode in, um, I really liked that mode in, in Battlefront 2. Because I, re I remember playing the capital ship fighting in that, mainly against bots, and it was just so satisfying, always. I'd like to pick up something like Ghost Recon, Recon Wildlands at some point, but I think I'll just play the sequel, if it's good. I don't know. What else do I want to pick up? My other problem is I try and use, like, the Steam Explorer thing. And let's just go through it. Okay, I mean, Mortal Kombat 11 isn't terrible, but I'm not big on fighting. Cooking Simulator. No. Hurts Pell. Oh. Should... Wait, why was that loud? Never even heard of this. It suggesting weird MMOs to me is kind of meaningless. I don't know. I get a little bit mad at. Um, I get a little bit mad at uh, at Steam's like search engine optimization because it feels almost like non-existent half the time. It's just like, hey, by the way, here's here's some like smutty. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, here's F1 2019, even though you've never played a realistic racing game. Why would you suggest this? I don't know. I mean, like, tabs is kind of fun, but... Like, I... Maybe... Maybe I just have high standards, but if I'm going to use the exploration tool, I want it to actually mean something. I don't want to just, like, launch the game and just be like, so... Or launch the thing, launch the exploration, be like, so, is any of this good? No. Cool. Yeah. Products in your discovery queue because it's popular. Don't I own Octopath? But did I never put in my key for Octopath? I gotta, I gotta get back to grinding through Octopath at some point so that Shell and I can finish it. I might learn, uh, some speedrun strats so we can get through it faster. That would be interesting. Deep Sixth. Deep Sixth. Oh, it's this game. I remember hearing about this. I'd requested a copy, but they never sent it to me. And I guess it came out. Huh. I love the visual style. I'm not sure if it's the kind of roguelike I'd really enjoy, though. Are there any roguelikes that I don't own? Probably not. What about Metroidvanias, actually? Because I'd like to sit down and actually go back to... playing through a bunch of different Metroidvanias that seem kind of cool. Or good. 
Problem is there's a lot of real bad Metroidvanias. There's a decent number of good ones that I'd like to go back and finish. Unfortunately, it seems most are kind of bad. What is this one? Okay, it's a your cat girl. Oh, this actually looks kind of nice. Heroin Anthem Zero. Mix of Siberian culture, mermaid folktales, and Taiwanese tribal legends. What even? And also anime girls. It doesn't look terrible though. I mean, except for all the women, but that probably sounds bad. I don't know. Whenever I look at a Steam Steam page and I see just nothing but chicks, uh, and not a single interesting looking male character, I'm just like, they're probably putting all that in for for uh. Fan service is nothing more. That's always a little tough for me, because I'm just like, I would like to... I would like to have, like, fair distribution of both genders. And have them both be, like, respectable uh, depictions therein. Otherwise, it just feels skeezy. All right, let's go back to making some more of these swords. I haven't been picking up any new blueprints. Oh, wait. No, there we are. Shadow. So no new good adventures. Get rid of that magician in favor of a knight or a businessman. That's of a quest. Okay, go defeat the final boss there again. Might as well, I guess. Yeah. So what is this game about? You never seen it. It's a uh, I mean, it's a Skinner box, town management, loot grinder, question mark. Okay, Twisted Time again? Yeah, let's just do Twisted Time again. They should be fine. I guess we would probably go level level up the uh, Paladin a whole bunch. Yeah, it still feels like the legendary balance street man is not actually that amazing. His growth potential is decent, though. Thanks, pretty good, though. Okay. Not tar taunt targets. Nope. Taunt effect on target lasts six seconds. Yeah, might as well increase that. Reduces damage uh, damage received by party members by forty percent, and takes reduced damage instead. Ah. Huh. Okay, so that makes it so he just takes all the hits. Skill damage. Skill damage. We'll just do skill damage on this guy, but yeah, I think I might want to remove the the street man. In favor of maybe leveling up the night blade. Maybe the night blade, I don't know. Okay. And we got some goodies. Got a lot of goodies from that. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Level 6 musician. Do not have it? Yeah. Uh, level 4 magician? Get rid of her. At this point, I could get another... Vacancy. I'm really curious how many of those you can even have. Okay. Well, now at this point, we can absolutely go after that, that unicorn here.
Because this was this was rough business the first we time we walked in here. Doesn't Street Man have a Rage Gen perk? Uh, maybe. It was Rage Efficiency, which maybe works that way? I, I don't know. I also got the Wolfenstein games and Freedom Planet. I was actually thinking of uh, just burning through the, the Wolfenstein games over the next couple days. Because I tried it for 4th of July a couple years ago, and I enjoyed it, but I never went back to it. And I don't have anything new, I think, coming out this week. Uh, I've got, like, two games that I should probably take a look at. One of them I should have probably taken a look at, like, yesterday. Uh, but I got distracted playing this instead. But it would be actually kind of fun to just zip through Wolfenstein. Because I haven't played any, like, legit good first-person shooters in a while. Like, a, a medieval was pretty good. But, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other games that I've missed, because I picked up Far Cry a little while ago. Yeah, is there anything else that I'm missing? I guess this is the Shantae games, but the Half Genie Hero Ultimate Edition is still not on sale ever. I know Robbie Reby always gets suggested, but like, god, oh, that art style. Even if it's like one of the better ones I've heard of. The Feet of Lin, Noble Sons of Our Prince. Ah, oh, they are the Lin! Descendants of the Imperial families served by the people of the Heaven Dynasty. They killed their loved ones with no hesitation. It's your kind of loyalty and love. Who were you referring to? Your so-called traitor Prince Lu, of course. And, of course, your fairy emperor. How dare you? What is even this story? I don't even understand. Only just realized in medieval is a pun. As in, like, a medieval or something, or is there another pun that I've totally missed? So he's getting smacked around a bit. Uh... We might lose our tank here. We might not be able to beat this guy yet. Shoot. Okay, let's stop that for a bit. I guess we gotta make a play to the Cataclysm. See if I can get something better. Cause yeah, I think we got our ass kicked. Okay, so you let's extract those gems. I'm not actually sure which one of these is better. Turn recovery. Absorption. Probably throw that one on him. Oh, and that, that one didn't have any gems anyway. Convenient. Okay. Yeah, if I could make a couple more shadows, I might be able to get an even better one, but still. How much HP did that sucker have? A lot. That was no good.
Uh, let's see. Can I... Looks like I can enchant all of these. Rage efficiency, crit damage, life on hit. I'm not entirely sure what rage efficiency even amounts to. Unfortunately. Oh, decreases rage cost up to... That's actually really good. Let's see. That has bonus at ends. Okay, life life on hit. As we'll get life on hit, and we don't want that armor. Okay, a little bit more, and we can get another legendary plate, probably. Uh, buh, 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 buh. time consuming. Let's see any of these good? The epic tank looks almost kind of adequate, but not quite enough. Okay. That probably means we've got an epic plate. Yeah, it would help giving him better armor than he's currently rolling. Back gems. We should probably also pay way more attention to set bonuses, because I haven't been. And that's bad. Okay, set up effects, agility, no. So the flying feathers boost. That. Or we can go all in on normal gems. Whoops. Let's extract those gems. I think I've got something better than the normal axe at this point anyway. Let's see. The Divine Sword. So if we give him all of these... It'll increase his elemental resistance by 40%. It gives him an extra dodge rate. Also, a lot of strength and vitality and stuff. Yeah, worth it. Okay, so now he's got the full set, set bonus. So he's got... One of these things. Okay. And fire damage enhancement. Eh, it's not actually that amazing. Anything else? Set bonus 2 for agility there. Bonus 2 intellect, but that's not amazing. Oh! Two of these would have actually gotten bonus damage reduction on that guy. It's probably okay. But yeah, I fi figured I'd give him a 10% dodge bonus, huge elemental resistance, and making it so he never loses more than 35% of his HP in one hit. Which should make it a little easier on the healer. I guess I'll give it to him. And I'll switch it so he's doing fire damage. Because that should help. His crit rating is crazy high. Uh, let's see. Other thing I should probably check. Anything here that's amazing? Couple for like strength and intelligence and whatnot. I don't manage my characters probably as much as I should. But it'll be okay. Alright, so he's he's tanked up. Let's see, so bonus into agility. And if these increase 
lightning. Because, yeah, I was mostly just looking at effects. I mean, honestly... Go back to this. Track the gems out of it. Put it back in. Because, yeah, if we can get the uh, the four, four gem bonus... That makes it so... Whenever a friendly unit takes damage, where has a 25% chance to fight back? Plus a bunch of elemental bonuses. Okay, so that's pretty good. What's she using? Uh, she has 25% extra strength. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I was just picking based on what the abilities were instead of paying any attention to any of this stuff. Probably also go back to leveling her up. Because she is arguably the most important character. Oh, we've made another one of these. No. I guess I can mush them all together. See if I get an even better, better something or other. Let's stop these, though. I don't think I need, need more of them. We got what we needed. So, not better. Heal effectiveness might have been kind of nice, but... And yeah, none of these are particularly amazing either. Boop. Boop. Okay, so we've cleared that out. Everything looks good. Everybody's got good equipment. Okay, that is the, the right equipment. All right, do we try that again? We could. Let's go back to making a actually disgusting amount of wooden swords. Because who in their right mind would make anything other than them if you want to turn a profit? Such a baffling choice for this game. Kind of. Okay, well, adventure failed. Do we try it again? I'm feeling better. I believe in you guys. I mean, we seem to be rolling these guys a hell of a lot better. That's one, one kind of satisfying thing about this game, is that you kind of just let them go for a while, and then eventually come back and you're like, Oh yeah, let's uh, let's up that equipment and see, see what we can switch around to make them good. You know, what can we fine-tune on these characters to beat this challenge? And then you realize that, like, oh my god, my characters were just wildly undergeared. Let's go, let's go fix that. Yep, there it goes. And then you just like smack everything in, into the ground once again. Uh, let's see, Poisonous Blade. Might as well level those up, because I haven't been using them. Not sure, but Wave might straight up be better. Actually, yes. Wave is 100% better on this guy. Because the damage reduction is good, but... If he's healing himself constantly, and the healer's healing him, okay. Because, yeah, the damage reduction is almost meaningless if the amount of damage you can do to him is capped to a, a third of his HP. As long as he heals that back up, who cares? Because he's not getting hit constantly. Yeah, and we're, we've already 
well surpassed how much damage we did to him the first time around.